Welcome to another episode of the Headlight Restoration Pro, where I'll be showing you how to restore this dragon scaled headlight. Damn, I fucked that Just up. Look at this mess and what somebody did to really mess up this headlight that I'm about to fix. Check it out. Bam! Picture perfect, better than the day I rolled out the lot. Amazing, miraculous transformation. Even I had concerns about this light, but just look at it. Beautiful. Stay tuned. Check it out. Let's get down to business. This is a 2010 Honda Pilot. And it is suffering from something that I have coined to be Dragon Scale. It is, believe it or not, a side effect of 2K Clear. Okay. Um, sometimes you can, uh, you know, do a light with 2K Clear and it looks perfect. It'll look fine for a while. But then through the elements and the sun and the heat and the cold, different things start to happen. Uh, when I see things like this, I um, one of my processes is to interview the owner of the vehicle to ask things like, are you the original owner? Were the headlights like this when you bought them? Uh, when you bought the vehicle or, you know, whatnot. And uh, just a, mi a little sidebar here. I'm fast forwarding a little bit on this video. Uh, slow fast forward just to get to, uh, you know, lower the length of this uh, video, which was about a 40 minute headlight restoration because of uh, the extreme nature of the headlight. Um, anyways, uh, I asked him... Uh, you know, all these questions and have you ever had headlight restoration, which of course I know that this vehicle has, but it doesn't mean that the person who owns the vehicle has done it. Uh, this person said, yes, he has had headlight restoration about four or five years ago um, with this. So not only is it a, is it an issue of um, somebody used 2K clear uh, and the 2K clear going bad, it's also, I believe, an issue of somebody just not being as experienced in using 2K clear. Because there's some guys out there that can use 2K clear and get away with it for a while or whatnot, and this wouldn't happen this way. It would probably peel off or something like this um, by this time. Uh, this person, I believe, wasn't as skilled, but also I asked what did it look like when it was done. And the guy said it looked really good. It looked pretty good. You know, it was passable, and you know, I wasn't, you know, wasn't perfect, but you know, I was, uh, you know, uh, happy with it. You know, and then he said, just you know, two years later, whatever, it started getting worse and worse, and and now you have this. You know, it got worse every month, and, and you know, I just can't take it no more. I have to drive to work early in the morning down these old dirt roads. He worked at some kind of refinery or whatnot. And I can't see. And the other day, I literally had to pull over because I, I couldn't see uh, good enough or whatnot. So I was like, damn, okay. So um, it's it's part of one of those things that, you know, you never know how it's going to go with a 2K clear. For one, it's not designed to be on headlights. It's not designed to be exposed to this kind of lighting or this kind of heat or this kind of, uh, um, you know, impact from driving, you know, on the freeway or whatnot, this kind of uh, weathering, this kind of, you know, it's just not designed to be on this kind of plastic. It's just not designed for headlights or in headlight use. Okay, so even though it looked good, you know, it won't look as good as my shit, of course, but it'll look good <laughs> enough when you, uh, you know, apply it or whatever, you have no idea the side effects that can happen down the road. Now, one of them being that this stuff is so hard that I'm having to use 220s, uh, which brings up another problem. This light, a Honda Pilot light or any Honda light, is virtually a uh, maybe a medium soft light. It's uh, firm, but it's very soft. Any Honda light is soft. Um, which brings up another problem with uh, using these 220s. You have to be really skilled. You have to be really um, light-handed not to eat this light up. Why? Because you have this super hard, scaly substance on the surface, right? Then underneath, you have this super soft or this medium soft 
uh, substance underneath. So what do you think will happen when you're pushing and you're pressing and you're grinding and you you don't pay attention to the depth? I'm pretty experienced, so I know what the depth is and I can feel the change. But a lot of people couldn't. I can tell you a lot of people, a lot of professionals that were, uh, you know, uh, uh, 900 headlights in or like five years, seven years of, of working with lights would have a hard time uh, finding the depth or stopping the depth of grinding because with a soft light in this high grit, you can leave behind some scratches that are really uh, difficult to get out and probably just better to, uh, you know, leave for the next couple of headlight restorations because of this uh, hard surface, which they'll come out, but it's just more drama and takes longer and it's harder to do and, um, you know, it's deeper you have to go and it's just, it's just, a, it's a bad thing. That's why I always say um, if you can avoid starting with the 220 uh, or a 320, always do so. But uh, I, I saw the beginning, I started with a P500, and I always do that just to test, to see how bad the headlight really is. And that's how I kind of can gauge. Um, you see my fancy glasses there. But anyhow, after that, decided to go straight back to the P500. Uh, what I try to do with these is um, I don't try to hit that Dragon Scale or that 2K Clear off all the way down to the plastic as much as possible. I try to stop a little short and get the rest with the P500 if that makes sense because that stuff underneath is so much softer than that uh, you know softer than that normal stuff is on top but with that dragon scale it's very intimidating you don't know what's going on you touch it it's so hard and it actually feels like scales and um, what's going on is uh, the stuff started separating eventually from the heat and the oils being pressed out from the headlight underneath it and whatever else residue was not uh, cleaned off um, it, using 2K Clear is a little bit different. Um, it's, it's, it needs a little different prep work, a little different organization as far as your method or whatnot uh, to do this. Um, and uh, the person who did this headlight might have been skilled enough, but it's just the product. You know, I, I just can't stress stressed enough uh, the product. If you saw this uh, Meguiar's uh, you know, this Meguiar's clear coat, you know, five years or whatnot, it would just be, you know, yellow or starting to uh, oxidize and fully just evaporate from the headlight. Literally, you know, like evaporate, like just start disappearing. It would not make scales. It would not like dig into the light. And uh, FYI, like I was saying, those scales were not so much the problem. The problem was the space in between the scales, which was still the 2K clear. It was a different chemical reaction. And that stuff, as you saw, if you if you run it back and rewind it, you'll see um, like those were the last little pieces to go because they were lower. Okay, they were more uh, in depth. That's why you can feel the texture or whatnot. And they were uh, penetrated more into the headlight through heat and moisture and stuff like that. They were deeper. But yes, this headlight took 40 minutes to do. Okay, normally a whole vehicle takes 40 minutes to do. So another thing about using this 2K Clear, um, it, you know, it's just, you know, what is gonna happen when it goes bad? This person now get me no now get me um get me right now, uh or don't get me wrong, pretty much. This person went too long without getting another headlight restoration, okay? He let the 2K clear sit on there too long after it started going bad. Okay, with that being said, nothing you put on a headlight when it starts going bad should do the things that this did. Um, you know, uh, it should not take this long to do a headlight, a uh, normal headlight, especially a Honda headlight, which is extremely soft and easy to do. Normally, this light takes about 15 minutes for me to do. So, once again, what do you think happened? He had to pay the same amount, or he had to pay an elevated fee to get this shit taken care of. Yes, he had to pay more. Um... You know, it's 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 not it's not the same thing when you're you know you're dealing with 15 minutes versus 40 minutes. Um, so you know, once you're getting this stuff put on by somebody, and you know, it, it's 
you know, it's really crucial to know what people are doing with your vehicle um, when you can. Uh, something this simple that only has so many steps. I mean, you're not going to ask a mechanic what kind of wrench you use or this because it really doesn't fucking matter. But when you're talking about, um, you know, I'm painting my car or you're talking about I'm wrapping my car, you're talking about I'm spray, I'm doing my headlights and this and that. Those kind of things are kind of important. OK, like when I'm waxing my car, that's not really important or whatever. There's so many different waxes out there and they're all good. And there's so many things made for vehicles. Uh, and why we're on that topic it's like why would you use something that is not made for headlights it just makes no goddamn sense there is probably over 300 products out there that you can get that are specifically designed by headlights by people who know what they're talking about or by people who are or companies that have multi-million or billion dollar scientists and you know have stock options that have all these things that are on shelves in stores every store in america you know or every store in the world and, and, you know, you pass all those and you go to Joe Schmo's 2K Clear. It makes no sense. That's designed to to um, lacquer uh, tables or, you know, you know, clear coat paint and stuff. It's not the same ball game. People, it's different. Uh, and while I'm on that note, like I said, waxes. Oh, I waxed my car. Yeah, wax my car with all these waxes. You know, there's a million trillion different waxes. There's ceramics. There's all this shit. There's graphene. There's all these things you can use. But then some smart guys out there say, I'm going to go past this and I'm going to use... Uh, I don't know, pancake wax. I'm going to use fucking uh, uh, um, sex wax, which is for fucking um, uh, surfboards and stuff, for it to be more hydrophobic on the water, to slide on the water more. And this is why I use it, because it just slides water off my car paint. Like, it's just, it's fucking stupid. Forgive me. It's really fucking stupid. Like, why would you use it? It's not designed for it. And I bet you, if you called a company... And they said, hey, I want to get your second opinion. Uh, you know, your 2K clear product. Should I use it? Can I use it on headlights? They'd probably be like, you could, but it's not recommended. I bet you they would be because they wouldn't want to get tied up in it. They'd be like, well, the shit's not, does it say for, does it, they would ask you, does it say uh, for headlight use on the can? They're going to be like, no, stupid motherfucker, don't use it on headlights then, right? And I don't want to get the bash in it. There's some guys out there that do some miraculous work with uh, 2K Clear, just like I used to until I learned how bad it fucks up lights. Until I started having all these lights come back and, and interviewing and finding out who did these lights before you. Oh, it was a guy who used to be in business here. And he'd boom, boom, boom. And I would call this guy. He's like, oh, I don't do it anymore. Or, um, yeah, yeah, I still do this now. What did you, what do you use? You mind if you use, oh, I use a 2K Clear. Okay, boom. And I started fucking putting two to two together. Is this the shit I'm pulling off? These lights? These lights that are crazy? I'm getting this easy ass light, you know what I'm saying? Like a like a Honda Pilot or some shit or a or a Toyota something, but it is terribly hard. It's taking 45, 50 minutes to get this stuff off with power drills. Now think about that. If somebody's saying, Oh, I do it by hand, I'm doing it, you know, think about those guys are doing it by hand, right? Do you think it's easier? Let me ask you this, people. And if you're if you're a professional detailer or whatever, let me let me ask you this. If you do lights by hand and you run into one of these lights, and this took me 40 minutes to get this stuff off down there and get this light to order, when it usually takes me 15 minutes to do one light, even a large light, do you think it's faster by hand? Or do you think you could be faster by hand? It's a fucking joke. Just like John Henry or whatever, it was. It's a story and it's clever and it's beautiful. Or whatever, he died at the end because he tried to keep up with the train. Or whatever, damn near impossible, man. It's you cannot beat somebody using power tools. Okay, and you get a, you get a crew of guys that are gonna put a house together by hand, like the old school, the way they did in the '60s and '50s, with nails and 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 hands and hammers, and that's all we do. And we have no machines; we dig everything by hand. And you have a crew that uses modern day shit. They're gonna smoke you. They're gonna be done sitting in their house, in the house, drinking tea, having parties and orgies and shit, and whatever they do, right? While you're still trying to fucking you know erect that shit, or still trying to put stucco in and shit, like is no way you can beat motherfucking machinery using machinery in modern day right there's no way i have used to do it by hand and i used to do 2k clear and i'm telling you right now uh they don't compare to this you don't um you know it's it's um you have to use more tape and you have to be more safety conscious because it is uh, a machine and you have to be more skilled because it's a machine you gotta you have to be more skilled to use it Anybody can use their hand. Not everybody can use a machine, all right? Um, 
and it's just faster. But anyways, could you imagine trying to do this light that took uh, somebody who does 15 minute lights, somebody on my level that took 40 minutes with a machine, with all machines, right? With all, with all tools. Could you imagine doing it by hand? What's it going to take? Three hours? A light? Like, Jesus Christ. Now, now, now with, on that topic, now, when you see these other guys doing the videos and saying all this stuff and they're flipping, no reason, no wonder why the reason why they just cut scenes and I don't cut scenes because my headlight, what I'm going to show you is 15 minutes plus, you know, a little extra on top for a little, you know, glamour and little openers and shit like that, right? So, you know, they cut it because it's, it's fucking three hours of headlight restoration. That's why you see the sun is in one position when they start. When they're done, it's like in another position. I notice these things because if you're doing it by hand, it takes longer. When I used to do it by hand, I know it took so much longer. You know, at the minimum, double the amount of time. At the minimum, it would take like 30, to 30 minutes of light, maybe more, on a hard light. Because you're doing it by hand. And the ones that say they can do it in 15 minutes, they're full of shit. They're full of shit. Maybe a regular light that has like no, no clear coat on it. But when you're talking about removing clear coat by hand or you're moving 2K clear off a of light by hand, get the fuck out of here. There's no way. I don't even know why they haven't even like, I don't even know why they don't like switch up. You know, it's, uh, you know, some people are stuck in their ways and they'll never be better than what they are because they refuse to try to evolve. And it'd be different if it's like if you were the cream of the crop, if you were on top and this is the best you can get. Okay, I understand you're not evolving, but some people are complacent. They're sitting there, I'm like, I do mine like this, but look at his. Oh my God, they jerk off to my shit, right? But then, you know, they look at their shit. It's okay, it's good enough to sell, but it's like, I'm not complacent. I'm a type of person that always wants to evolve, and that's why my uh, product has came into this light or whatever, has came into this level because, you know, I have started with the hand sanding, I started with the 2K clear, and then I saw machines, and then I did the time test on machines, and then I started testing with machines and found out it's so much better, so much easier, so much faster, and things come out so much better. And then I researched why, and then I found all those, and I keep going. Some people just like, they're really content. It's just what it is, and that's it. I don't care. I don't even know what the name of the what the plastic's called or nothing. You know, me, I'm different, and that's what I wanted to bring to you guys and show uh, how things are going. Uh, but anything with this dragon scale, um, it's very jarring to see, uh, and, and I, you know, like you know. It, it it almost makes you want to be like, nah, I don't even think I can do this light. Like, I uh, pass. Like, no, your light's not, you know, and a lot of companies do this. A lot of companies, I have people that have lights like this that come to me. Man, I went to, like, two different people. I have people that come from out of town because they're like, in my town, you know, it's like, like 40 miles away. And, uh, you know, four, you know, four places said that, you know, they did it and they can't do it. And one guy tried, he, he like said, they can't get it off and this and that. And they come to me and I do. And they're like, whoa, what the fuck is going on? Uh, what were they doing? And I have to explain to them like, yeah, it's probably a polisher and there's nothing they can do. They can't polish that shit off, you know, or somebody less expensive or less um, experienced or whatever. And it's not to my own horn. I'm tooting the horn of this method because I want you guys to know whether you're a professional or just a novice or just somebody who doesn't want to pay uh, $300 a light. Like this, these lights are probably like $300 a light or something, right? OEM plus have them installed plus have your car dropped off for like three hours to have them install if they have nobody else in front of you if you have an appointment or whatever. And, you know, all that shit, you know, sitting there and having that done 300 that way. And then you got to pay them up like 180 for labor. So, you, you you know, $800 and you got some guy over here that's doing the headlights for, you know, fucking, uh, you know, pennies compared to that. Right. And having it done in, you know, a, a tenth of the time. Right. So this is, you know, this is what you guys can achieve is what I'm pretty much getting to. Is this what you guys can achieve? And, and what I'm saying right here is you, you want to um, the top half of these vehicles uh, go bad faster in the sides. So I'm starting there just so I can start locking it a little bit. And then I come back and hit those uh, spots over and over. So those spots I do about four to five times more coating on, as you'll see. Um, and that's why I start there. 
and, and I just keep returning to those spots to just layer and layer and layer. And when I say layer, I'm doing wet layers. I never let the layer harden or firm and then go go on. Uh, check out this video. Why not to double coat and you'll see why. Because the layers interfere with the clarity as uh, far as your eyes and the output of the headlight light. But anyways, uh, a lot of the guys like, you know, I have had some haters on there. There's so many haters out there. I never knew how many hate. I always knew. I suspected, but I never knew how many haters were out there in the world until I had a YouTube channel. It's the funniest shit. You know, these guys say the dumbest shit because, you know, like when you shine and you and you got your, your education up, you got your things right and you know how it is. You they, There's nothing really anybody could say except some stupid shit. So some of these guys say some weird ass crazy shit like on here. And I just laugh at it all the time and I'm like god damn like it's just it's so silly like get, get your education up or something and they say just the dumbest shit like it's not polycarbonate it's plastic or they just they just don't I, I just can't get over it it's funny but anyways for my true fans out there or my true people who understand how that restoration you know this is the video for you and I, I love everybody who watches and comments and does whatever um, even even the, uh, you know haters or whatever i like them too you know they're, they're they're doing things for me as well too and they don't even know it but anyhow uh this method you can achieve this method pretty easy a lot of people on the internet are doing stuff that's 100 percent different than me but check it out look at what happens when you do my method now keep in mind i am a seasoned vet i am a true professional i have really thousand maybe more headlights you know maybe i'm pushing two now you know i stopped counting over a year ago at a thousand so uh, I, I i i do this now here's the thing you can get up on this level very quickly okay uh it's it's a mathematical formula if you do the things i say and 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 watch what i do and do it you can achieve headlights like this i have so many people in my DM sending me stuff, uh, and I'm going to start posting uh, what they're sending me, their products, and, uh, you know, their finished product and stuff, and they're praising this method. You can get it. Now, look at this side by side. Look at that. Dragon. Dragoned out the game. Look at that shit. Etched into the headlight. 2K clear. Pretty much left on there too long. Pretty much applied uh, correctly, but just left on there wrong too long and you just never know what's going to happen with something that's not designed for headlights be sure to click this button here to subscribe